The Liskov substitution principle states subtypes must be substitutable for their base types. This principle applies to inheritance relationship. When a clause inherits from another clause, then ensure that the subclass has all the behaviors that the base class has. Additionally, it should simply provide a different implementation of the behavior that the base class has. But it should not change or modify the behavior. This way, code that uses the functionality of the hierarchy through the base class will continue working if a child class is passed to it. And this allows addition of new classes in future. So in a way, this also helps us follow the open closed principle. Because if you can change the behavior of existing code without modifying it, then it means we are following open closed principle. This means we will be able to add new classes in future. So when you use Liskov substitution principle, you automatically follow open closed principle. In this example, there's a clause called operation and it provides a method called result of. This method accepts a range. So it accepts the begin and end of the range and performs an operation on them and returns a result. Now this operation could be addition, it could be subtraction, it could be multiplication, or it could be any of these operations done using concurrency. So the clients can create new operation clauses and override result of and provide their own implementation. And this is how the operation class might be used by a client. So here, the client simply invokes result of and then gets the result. Now, what if we want to add support for a Boolean operation? In this case, we perform an operation on the elements of this range but the result should be a Boolean. Boolean is also an integral type and we can easily return it as a result from this function. However, the calling code will not be able to know whether it returns an integer or a Boolean. So in this implementation of operation, when it is invoked by the client, they will have to check what kind of object was used to invoke the function. One way of checking is through type ID. So if the type of operation was a bool operation, then we should use result as a boolean type. Otherwise, we should use it as an integer. Obviously, with addition of bool operation, we had to modify existing code. So we violated open closed principle. And this also violates Liskov substitution principle because the child clause Bool operation cannot act as a substitute for operation. It is different from its base class. The base class provides the behavior of performing an operation and returning an integer result. But the bool operation not only changed the implementation, it also changed its behavior because it returns a different type. So how do we add new type of operations without having to modify existing code? We can add a base class interface called iOperation and use a variant as the return type. We will inherit operation and bool operation from this interface. In operation, the result of will return an integer through the variant and result of will return a boolean through this variant. Note that this variant can represent both integers and booleans. Now, how will the client code use these classes? Here, when the client invokes result of on this interface pointer, it won't know what type of operation is invoked and what is the actual return type. But with variant, we can use visitation and access the result in a type safe manner. So this way, the client code doesn't have to know what type of operation was invoked or what is the return type. 